Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network. In the past, we've shown you how to use desaturate, grayscale, and gradient maps to convert your images to black and white. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the channel mixer. Now, the only reason we're calling this technique advanced is because it takes a little finagling and a little explanation. It's not actually any more or less difficult than any of the other ways you might make an image black and white. So we'll get started. Now, when we talk about channels, we're talking about the parts of an image made up of each of the primary colors of light, or red, green, and blue. Essentially, if you open your channel window and you click on the, each of the channels, you're seeing all of the red parts of an image converted to black and white, or all of the green parts converted to black and white, or all of the blues. Just like paint, these three colors mix to create all of the colors you see in an image. It's additive versus subtractive. We could get into color theory, but that's a whole other video and way beyond the scope of a quick and easy tutorial. So in order to have a lot of control over the final appearance of a black and white image, we can use the channel mixer under Image, Adjustments, Channel Mixer. Now the first thing we're going to do is click the monochrome button down at the bottom. Then we can start sliding and adjusting each channel to get the look we want. But you'll notice if you go over 100%, it starts to yell at you. And if you go under 100%, you're not using your whole tonal range. I find it best to key in my percentages by tens to keep the math simple and to keep the tonal range whole. So for this image, because I want the couple to pop and skin is mostly red, I'm going to key in 80% for red, 10% for green, and 10% for blue. Click OK, and we're done. Now if you compare it to just a straight up grayscale of the image, you can see how much control that channel mixer gives you. It's really, really simple, but it gives you a lot more nuance in your final black and whites. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something, and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or by visiting the resource library and the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network at www.idophotonet.com.